Greetings, family, friends, and survivors. Well, I noticed uh, when the batteries are full, this is typical. You see about 19 watts, 0.7 amps times 28 volts, about 19.5 watts um, going into the batteries. And so that's really, you would consider that to be like a float charge only we're not running it as a float charge what we have is the charge controller set up uh, to see 28.3 volts for two minutes because that's the lowest setting you can get on the midnight so when it sees 28.3 volts for two minutes then it rolls back to 28.2 volts and it typically takes about 19 watts to hold it there and the reason why it's not zero watts is something will change in the house the refrigerator will kick on there's a few hundreds of a second lag time for the charge controller to pick up on the load and then compensate for the load so a tiny little bit gets used out of the battery and then when the load goes away uh, it's a few hundreds of a second recognizing the load has disappeared so it'll throttle back and you won't see any watts at all going in the battery. Uh, and you might even see 15, 20 watts going in the negative coming out of the battery for a second or two. And then it goes back to nothing again. And then it goes to 19 watts going back in and then nothing and maybe 19 watts going out. And so it's just making that adjustment really you could ex express that solely in the the lag time of the controllers compensating for the surge that the house is using so it's not really like a float charge um, which is easy to set up that way on the tristar on the midnight the best thing that i could do is have the return amp set at zero have the absorb time set to two minutes and have it set for 28 uh, 0.3 volts for two minutes and when it sees that it rolls over into float at 28.2 which put me at 4.04 volts per cell in a 7s configuration and if that doesn't make any sense to you then don't bother with this video 50 days and you know it's really made a kind of an interesting thing if you like to um, have solar as a hobby don't install lithium ion because there's nothing to do at all in fact adding the lithium ion has made solar very boring actually and, and has taken the challenge out completely of living off grid you know, what do you do about that? Because I have to get another hobby, huh? You know, maybe I should just yard these things out of here and uh, put those guys back in so I'd have a challenge. What do you say, guys? Uh, I know I'm being silly, but the truth is, 50 days and there's nothing to do. It was literally set it and forget it. And that's not typically been my experience with uh, flooded lead acid not at all so we'll see how the winter months go um, it's 27th of October today and we've got clear skies cold weather but clear skies that won't last forever um, I'm sure that I'm sure that we will see some generator time at some point but one thing that I've noticed is I've come up here for five and a half years and looked at all of my charge controllers and added them all up and I've been running at 6.5 to 7 kilowatts uh, per day five and a half years between 6.5 and 7 kilowatts per day like clockwork and now I'm five or under and the only thing that's different is the lithium ion so that's telling me I'm saving two kilowatts a day and the only thing that could explain it would be the efficiency of the lithium ion. Let me know if anybody else is experiencing that. If you have any kind of numbers to share. I, I know everybody's saying the lithium ion is definitely um, 
much more efficient and takes power much easier without resistance and that makes sense because when you put 180 amps my solar system is capable of putting 180 amps on a set of batteries and when you put 180 amps on five-year-old with uh, five-year-old lead acid they heat up they let you know you definitely can tell you're putting power somewhere they're like giant resistor banks but you put 180 amps of the lithium ion and they don't even get warm. They can't even tell you charged them. And so that tells me um, they're taking it much more efficiently. And when you actually see a drop of 2 kilowatts per day, uh, that's really remarkable. So it's made living off grid kind of boring, really. What am I going to do with all that free time? Hmm. You know, I'm being facetious. Actually, we just got home and to feed the animals and turn around and head back for church. Um, I'm teaching tonight, so I guess, I guess I probably ought to go. Have a blessed day, folks.